we go to these different classes together. We dance together. We speak loud together. Camaraderie is um, it's hard to put words to it because it's there's a different bonding that took place probably from day one. And I think one of the things that we do the best of all is we laugh together. I have never been to a loud class, um, the Loud for Life class on Zoom uh, with this international group. And there has not been laughter throughout the whole hour and a half or hour and 10 minutes that we're together. It's incredible. Uh, you know, you bring together, what is it, 15 or 20 strangers who've never met before. Um, who don't know each other and look, within within 10 or 15 minutes everybody's talking and then everybody's doing their loud ahs and their up and down ahs and after you know even the first meeting there was that sense that this was something special and and this is this is doing something on so many levels it's certainly helping us with our dialogue and our speaking and being sure that we're going to do our practice and stuff like that but it's giving people a real sense of um connection and a sense of, of uh, you know, of worth nearly because um, Parkinson's is supposed to kind of ruin everything. It does, but I mean, we can, we can fight back and this is something that has made such a difference. And if a bunch of strangers can meet on the internet every week and, and shout at each other and have a bit of fun at the same time, I think that says something quite amazing. Although we're so far apart, it's like we're right there together, you know? And learning to be loud has helped in that we're able to talk, you know, and keep keep the communication going. It's, it's something I look forward to doing. Uh, I do it every Friday, so it's a routine. And there's a somewhat of accountability that I show up, which is very helpful. Um, I think that primarily the social aspects of, of the class uh, is what I enjoy the most. All of a sudden there was finally something that I personally could control. I could do it and it actually, I could see improvement because of it and progress because of it. And that was such a, a great thing for me. I'm amazed looking back at how much by exercising I've been able to improve. I know that I've not made the disease go backwards, but I was capable of so much more when properly trained physically, I could get a lot more out of life than I knew at that point. Now I'm far ahead of where I was. I like to think that I'm still on the upswing. The, the confidence that I've got, that I've gained out of being, like having done LSVT loud, but particularly being part of this group, you know, has allowed me to challenge some of the kind of the, the, the golden calves, the, the rules about Parkinson's over here, you know, that as you said, here's your prescription, but you're, everything is going to fade and you're going to kind of slip away. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. From right. day one, we're on, we're on mission to fight this thing. And groups like this, although there aren't many groups like this, this is kind of unique, but we're so lucky to be in such a group. I mean, we really have a gift that we have to give, you know. We, we can't just sit here and uh, keep it to ourselves. We somehow gotta help those others that are out there that don't know a thing about it.